good morning students in this class we are going to continue the lesson the vedic period in the previous class we have studied about the aryans and their spread in india the four vedas rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharveda and the political life and the social life of the people in this class we are going to continue with the topic status of women status of the women during the vedic period the women were treated equally to men most of the yagnas were not held without the presence of wife the families followed a patriarchal system which means the father is the head of the family and he used to take care of the family and make important decisions in the family and in the later vedic period the system changed the status of the women started to downgrade that is the women came under the control of men and next we will see the food habit of these aryans food and drink the food habit of the people was mostly vegetarian so the aryans were mostly vegetarian they were fond of milk and milk products there are references to two types of drink they are called as soma and sura soma is a drink which is made of milk by mixing some herbs in the milk and another drink is sura it also finds mention this was however intoxicating in nature entertainment the common entertainment among the aryans were group dancing horse racing chariot racing and music and next we will see about the economic life agriculture and cattle rearing were the primary occupation of the aryans they used to grow wheat rice and barley cattle sheep goats and horses were reared and maintained in large numbers cow was considered as a sacred animal so most of the battles were also fought to gain the possession possession means in order to own the agriculture land and also to capture the cattle also the people who were captured during the battle were kept as slaves and they were called as dasas and dasis the other occupation of the people were making tools agricultural implements horse and ox driven carts pottery and trading in agricultural produce work on wood clay bricks making and construction of houses were also common occupation the use of iron came into being in the later part of this age religious aspects of life in the vedic age the people were deeply involved in religious activity they believed in the concept of one god so they believed that there is only one god and they also accepted that one god has many forms so they gave different names to the god performing yagnas was a common practice singing of hymns and prayers were part of daily life the people of those times believed in salvation after death therefore they prayed to god wishing for salvation salvation means deliverance from evil they also believed in karma karma means your future depends on your deeds in the present they also believed that the soul is imperishable imperishable means it is everlasting and does not have end the vedic period has spread the message of mutual cooperation harmony moral and ethical values these were practiced and believed as the people feared the worth of god 
so they had a fear that if they do any evil and god will punish them the four phases of life the life of human being was divided into four ashrams or four phases they are the brahmacharya the grihastha the vanaprastha and the sanyasa in the first phase the person was supposed to say single and attain education that is during the brahmacharya phase the person should be unmarried he should not marry and he has to attain education in the second phase that is in the grihastha phase it is meant for marriage the person can marry and build a family in the third phase the person was supposed to be with the family take care of the family but sever his ties with materialistic desires that is he has to cut off his ties with materialistic desires and in the fourth phase the person left family life and go into prayers and solitude solitude means the state of being alone so in the fourth phase the person has to leave his family and he has to dedicate himself into prayers and solitude inam gavan chalcolithic settlement in the deccan region the excavations in the region of inam gavan so excavation means unearthing or digging with reference to archaeology so the excavations in the region of ema inam gavan in maharashtra near the god river has provided archaeologist with a source to study the people living in the part of deccan plateau the site here shows the state of civilization during the period of 1600 to 700 bce so civilization means the human society so how was the human society during the period of 1600 to 700 bce now let us see about the life of people in this region houses people in the region built mud houses which were rectangular in shape they had a dedicated space for cooking food that, that that is they had a kitchen also mud walls were built around the settlement possibly for safety so they had a compound wall also which were built of mud in order to protect themselves there is a canal system connected to the river and this canal provides a water supply for uh, the fields and also for domestic purpose the size of the houses indicates the status of the people the rich farmers had big houses and they were settled in the middle of the city and the working class people were in the borders of the city that is in the outskirts of the city materials in use the excavations excavations means unearthing or digging so from the excavations we can come to know that the people used materials made of ivory gold and copper but most of the tools were made of stones food habits the people during this period mainly consumed cultivated products and meat and there is also evidence that they would have consumed fish domestication of animals from the excavations we can come to know that the people had some domesticated animals like uh, cattle goat sheep dogs pigs and horses customs the excavations show terracotta figurines of animals and more of the bull figurines means a small carved 
or molded statue so they had a small statue of the animals especially of the bull possibly this was a revered animals which means it is considered to be sacred some human remains have also been found with earthenware and figurines so even the figurines of human beings were also been found this shows that the people of those times believed in a journey after death so they believed life after death the decline the decline of the settlement is evident by changing lifestyle and reduction in food crops as there was a decline in the production of food crops gradually the people either perished that is they ended their life or move uh, moved away from that region other sources of studying the past study of life in the past were based on the findings of artifacts artifacts means objects made by humans so based on the artifacts we can study about the life of the people who lived in the past some of the important artifacts are scriptures and also the human remains the burials the people who lived during this period respected the dead many of them buried them so when a person is dead he is buried some of the people buried them within their premises of their homes and others did so outside so when a person is dead he is either buried within his house premises or outside the megaliths in the deccan plateau in kashmir and also in some parts of the world there was a trend to bury the dead under huge boulders boulders means huge rocks these boulders were also known as megaliths mega means large and lithos means rock at some places of burial it is uh, surrounded by rocks or stones as it is to notify that someone lies beneath that is as you can see in the picture the place of burial is surrounded by rocks or stones in order to indicate that someone is below or underneath or buried the huge stones are possibly a way to show that a person is important so if an important person dies a huge stone is made to stand over his burial there are also some places where the body was laid to rest along with his belongings so when a man dies his uh, belongings are also buried along with him in other places items of personal use have been found buried like a weapon or a horse equipment so from this we can conclude that the people who lived in that uh, period believed that there is a life after death so children we have completed the lesson the vedic period in this lesson we studied about the aryans and their spread in india the vedas the life of people under the life of people we studied about their political life social life status of women food and drink entertainment economic life religious aspects of life and the four phases of life and then we studied about the inam gavan that is a chalcolithic settlement in the deccan region and we also studied about the burials and the megaliths students i have attached you the pdf for your class work writing hope you all enjoyed this class see you in the next class thank you all